I'm here at the 2020 National Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa with Chris Steve, and we're going through the town of Redlands, Oklahoma that Chris has built. He's been working on this since 2013, building different farms based in this town, but now the town's coming together and we're having individual videos on each location along Highway 51 here. In our last video, we went over the Steve Quality Meats over here, and now we're moving on to Superior Propane. A lot of detail to go over on this one as well. Yeah, this is like Sid, the whole reason this one existed was because Greenlight did a really nice job with the little propane trucks they just came out with, and I wanted to make it, but however, it was one out of the 80s, I wanted to make a modern one. So I made a modern one, which is I started doing a little research on propane sales places. It grew into, well, a propane shop has tank delivery trucks. So we got the old one with a pull-type trailer, but we also have one of the new fancy, sexy, uh, you know, 5500 Dodges setters. Um, that one Tony Dixon did me. The old one I did, Tony also as well, did the big truck just to have one bigger one on there. This is one that I really need to thank Tony for because he did almost all the research and did the beautiful handwork. 90% of this is hand built and just you know, I love the transfer I mean all right, the he's got know, it's not just sitting there it's all right. just like the real thing connected. all the pumps are in all the, so this is the this would be the little pump house building that actually supplies for the big trucks this tank as well has another line as you can see that goes underground and comes over to the what's called the fill station this fill station is what fills all the little tanks the tanks are all empty on the shelves or on the okay. display they call it a shelf until it's time to actually load it to the truck they bring it over here and you can see down in there there is the scales that they actually set the tanks on and they load. All of these buildings have the fire extinguishers in it, all the fire protection, uh, phone lines or phones and such. It's all run to there. The dealer, the other thing that's neat on here um, is that this place, and a lot of propane shops around the country do sell grills, as the sign says, with the you know grill and grill accessories. And they also sell standby generators, the Generac generators, because most of those are propane run. Very nice, and that's just great detail. Again, you got your HVAC on the side of the building. Yep. Uh, chain link fence, where do we find that? This it's... chain link fence is actually awesome and it's easy to use. This is the new Woodland Scenic O scale uh, chain link. We'll see another chunk of it here in a bit that I actually used to make a little ball diamond out of the spare that I had. Nice. Um, you got a handicapped parking spot here. The handicaps are there. The, you know, like I said, and uh, we're also looking for these throughout the, you got the FFA can drive. Yep. And there's our barrel. We saw that at the meat market in the last video, and there's the one here at the propane store. Yeah, so this was just a kind of a simple, fun build mm -hmm. on something you see at the edge of town. Um, also, just kind of neat, you got a gorilla on the roof, just to, again, just one of those sales kind gimmicks. Of sales like, gimmicks, you know, yeah, the there? inflatable Let's, gorilla. Yeah. Or... And uh, also, I think I see a manhole possibly. Yeah, manhole cover. That would yeah. be the manhole for the city water system. It's nice, and also, it looks like Highway 51 out here is fairly busy. We've got a pretty cool looking truck coming down yeah, the road. Yeah, we've got some different ones. I'd like to thank Chris Burnett of Burnett Farm Toys. He actually donated this one for the display. It's a neat all blacked out rig, brand new Peterbilt 389, but it has a gorgeous old 19, I think, 50s uh, Diamond T Rio on it. Um, I cool. thought it made a neat combo. He's probably had to do a truck show or something. He's got his brand new beautiful truck, but he's also got a fully restored on there. One thing on my display is every truck that is on here does have a driver in it. So speaking of that, let's take a look at the driver in this big Ford. Yep, that's a neat one, an old Ford Louisville with a, uh, a uh, fish tank. A lot of people don't know what that is, but some of the, I was surprised here at the show, I guess out of Wisconsin and stuff, they sell a lot of minnows to the south, and then we actually, so that's the route, and then minnows come to the south and we haul catfish to the north. Hmm. Very cool. That's, um, um, they're air tanks that keep the tanks, like I said, the air circulating hmm. inside of them. Um, if I didn't mention already, but like I said, Brad McPherson of Custom Farm Toys is actually the one who donated that to me. That's great. So let's um, just take a minute and walk behind the uh, building here and see uh, the detail behind the propane. So there's a field back here, which makes a nice backdrop if you're taking pictures of farm equipment. Mm -hmm. But again, you see all those tanks here on the shelf, just the, the back lot and the fencing. And we can see the detail of the uh, shop and yard. Uh, just a great great piece of the display. So I guess that finishes this part of the tour and yep. then we're going to head on to the big focal point, the versatile dealership in the next video and we'll continue to link these in the description area from one to one. And Chris, very impressive. Thanks and like I said, thank you for watching and thank you for following me on Redlands Oklahoma on Instagram.